It's a case for Nick Carter, master detective. Yes, it's a case for that most famous of all manhunters, the detective whose ability at solving crime is unequaled in the history of detective fiction. Nick Carter, master detective. Continuing the curious adventure called... The Accidental Bullet. Or Nick Carter and the Mystery of the Murdered Dog. Investigating the death of a watchdog belonging to Simon Agnew accentovers that the dog was killed by a bullet that must have come from an old-fashioned muzzle-loading pistol. Then he learns that Danny Caswell, wealthy young playboy, has been killed by a similar bullet in what looks like an accident. Sensing some connection between the death of the dog and the death of Danny Caswell, Nick, with Scubby, his assistant, goes to the 52 Club, a gambling house, located close to Simon Agnew's residence in search of clues. They find the club deserted, but as they're searching it, the floor suddenly opens beneath them. Nick, look out! We're falling! Oh, oh Scubby. Scubby, where are you? Oh, here I am, Nick. You all right? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, gosh, what happened? I think the floor cave in. I know he just fell about 12 feet and made a one-point landing. Well, we're standing on a trap door, Scubby. Somebody pulled the lever that opened it. Now, look up there. Somebody pulled the lever that opened it. We're standing in a trap door, Scubby. Somebody pulled the lever that opened it. And look up there. Gosh, Nick, we were standing on the tiles. Well, the fact it was a trap door. Well, it certainly caught us by surprise, though. Yeah, but now, where are we? It's so dark, all I can tell is that we're on a dirt floor of some kind. Well, we had our flashlights in our hands on it. On a dirt floor of some kind. Well, we had our flashlights in our hands on it. No, I can't seem to find mine. How about you? Ah, yes, yes, here it is. Now, if it isn't broken... Oh, good, it works. Now, we seem to be in a cellar of some kind. Yeah. It's not a very big room, is it? Look at all those rock walls. Yes. Certainly looks solid. Well, there's a door, Scully. The only door. Uh-huh. Something tells me it's solid, too. It looks like solid oak to me. Let's see if it's locked. Is it, Nick? Seems to be barred on the other side. Mm -hmm. And it's at least an inch thick. It'll take a battering ram to knock that down. Stone walls and a door made out of solid oak. Hey, Nick, how are we going to get out? I don't know yet, Scubby, but there's only one way to find out. Come on, let's keep looking. Bill, is the trap door shut? Yeah, Mr. Kent. I just got it closed. Good. And we caught them. Oh, yes. And the safe... Just better leave them there because in a week... Yeah, we got to take care of... Yeah, we got to take care of... I think I know how to do it. Oh, yeah. them tonight and, uh... You'll see. Go outside and get Joe. I think I know how to do it. Oh, yeah? What's your idea, boy? You'll see. Go outside and get Joe. We're going to need his help. Yeah, right. What is it? Yeah, Joe just grabbed some... He's bringing them in here. Uh, Got to take away. Sure. Oh, Serrini. Yeah, knock him with my gun. Turn him out. Okay. Sit. Okay. Sit. The cottage down the hill. What do you mean he used to live there? I mean that pretty soon he's not going to live there. He'd phone the police. Hey, let him up too. Yeah, the boss ain't going to... He's getting well organized. When we're through, nobody's going to know their killings. They're going to look like accidents, you understand? Well, they better. You know what's good for you. Now, don't you worry. You leave Agnew to us. But you've got to take care of Nick Carter and his assistant. I told Jake he should have let me get rid of Carter this morning when we had the chance. Well, you're going to have your chance now. But I give plenty to know what brought him back here tonight. Hey, do you suppose Carter knows? Do you think he guessed that, that we... Danny Caswell was killed here last night? I don't know. But when we spotted him, he was staring at those brackets where we got the dueling pistols off of. Just as if he'd figured exactly what happened. Yeah, but he didn't have any clues. Well, it doesn't matter what he knows. He'll soon be out of the way. Joe... We'll see to that. Okay. Give me the dope. Now, here's what I want you to do. First, find Carter's car. It's probably hidden somewhere down the road. Then drive to old man Carney's and get a half a dozen of those special knockout gas bombs he makes up. Yeah. Half a dozen knockout bombs, right? Then come back here, open the trap door a couple of inches, and throw the bombs down. 
They'll knock Carter and his man out inside of a minute. Okay, Mr. Kent. Now, when you're sure they're unconscious, get them out of the cellar, put them in Carter's car, drive them over to the river, then put them in the front seat and let the car roll into the river. <laughs> when they're found, it'll look like an accident. <laughs> Say, that's a smart idea. Yeah, it'll work all right. Yeah. And that ought to satisfy the boss. Yeah, all right. But he still wants to know just what went on here last night. You know Philip Mansfield, the kid who was with Caswell? He's the boss's nephew. I know it, but he won't say anything. He's too frightened. Now, I'll get going. All right. Hey, boss, what are we going to do about Agnew here? He's pretty near gone. We'll take him back to his cottage and make it look as if he died there. But first, we've got to finish up here. Now, load all those old guns from over the mantle into the car and wipe out all possible fingerprints. Yeah. Then, we'll take care of Agnew. Gosh, Nick, it's no use. We've been looking for a way out of here for half an hour, and there just isn't any. Never give up hope, Scubby. Come on, let's keep trying the walls. We may find a weak spot yet. Hey, Nick. Yes? I wonder if we could do anything with this old board here against the wall. No, I thought of that, Scubby. But it's too light to use as a battering ram. Yeah. Besides, it's all rotten, Nick. Hey, look. What is it? Look at all the little white ants that were underneath that board. White ants? Yeah. Scubby, those aren't ants. They're termites. Well, what's the difference, Nick? Plenty. Termites eat wood. A nest of termites can turn a heavy timber into a mere rotting shell in a month. Well, what of it? What of it? That door, Scubby, it's wood. And it's touching the earth floor so that the termites can reach it. But that door is solid. We've already found that out. I know, Scubby, but we were hammering on it at a point several feet above the ground. Let's try it close to the ground and see what happens. Nick, what is it? Scubby, I think I've hit a rotten spot. Yeah? Not in the door, but in the frame that holds it. If I only had something to hammer at the weak spot with. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can kick a hole in it. <coughs> Nick, you're kicking right through the frame of the door. Yes, Scubby. The termites have done good work on it. The wood's thoroughly rotten here, close to the ground. There. There. Nick, uh, you've done it. There's a hole there big enough for me to put my arm through. Yes, Scubby. Hand me that board you were just looking at. Yeah, here it is. But be careful, it's pretty rotten. I think it'll do. Now step aside, will you, so I can yeah. lie down here on the floor. Shove it through this hole. There. Now, this is just guesswork, but by poking upwards with it, I may be able to knock loose the bar that's holding the door shut. Do you need any help, Nick? No, there's nothing you can do. I think I've got it. Oh, if that board breaks, we're sunk. I can feel a heavy bar of some kind lifting a little... Out of its sockets. Oh, there it goes. Nick, you did it. Yes. Now, now let's see if the door will open. Stand back, Scubby. Okay. And have your gun ready. And maybe somebody outside. I'm ready, Nick. Good. Here it goes. It's open. Yes. Apparently, there's no one outside there. I risk a look at my flashlight. No. No one there. All right, Scubby, come on. We're going back upstairs. Follow me and keep your gun handy. Nick, there's nobody here. No, apparently the house is empty. Well, that's funny. Hey, maybe they were just going to leave us down in that room to starve after all. I hardly believe that, Scubby. My guess is that they've gone to make preparations for getting rid of us and that they'll be back. Well, what are you going to do now, Nick? Wait for them and try to trap them? Yes, Scubby. It'll be risky, but we haven't time to send for any help. Oh, I'm game, Nick. I'd certainly like a chance that whoever dropped us through that trap door. So would I. Well, while we're waiting, I suppose we spend a minute or two looking around. Do you think it's safe, Nick? We'll keep our flashlights well covered, I think so. Okay, Nick. Say, hmm? here's something funny. All those old guns that were up over the fireplace are gone. Yeah, that makes me more convinced than ever. And the dueling pistols found beside Danny Caswell's body came from that collection. It certainly looks like it. What is it, Nick? Have you found something? Yes. Something was lying here in the rug. A little whistle. A whistle? 
What do you suppose it means? It means Simon Agler's been here, Scubby. That whistle is the key to his front door. A whistle is the key to a front door? I don't follow you. I haven't time to explain, and we can't wait here for Kent to come back either. You've got to go see if anything's happened to Agnew. Come on. Is this Agnew's cottage, Nick? Yes, Scubby. It's so dark and silent, he, he must not be home. That's what I want to find out. Now I'm going to show you how a whistle can be a door key, too. Watch. Gosh, the door is opening. Yes, opened by an electric mechanism that responds to the sound of the whistle. One of Agnew's inventions. Come on in, Scubby. Right, Nick. Oh, shall I close the door? Yes. I'll try to find the light switch here. Ah, here it is. Nick, look. There's someone lying there on the floor at the foot of the stairs. Yes, Scubby. Simon Agnew. Oh, he must have fallen downstairs. Why, Nick, he's dead. Nick and Scubby have escaped from the death trap in which they were caught. But apparently Nick is as far as ever from solving the mystery of the strange case which began with the seeming murder of Simon Agnew's watchdog. Now Simon Agnew himself is dead. How will Nick track down the killers? Listen tomorrow. The Strange Adventures of Nick Carter, Master Detective, features Lon Clark as Nick Carter. Patsy is played by Helen Choate. The stories are written by Bob Arthur and David Cogan, and original music is played by Lou White. Sure to listen tomorrow to the next episode of this exciting story and follow the further adventures of Nick Carter in the case entitled The Accidental Bullet or Nick Carter and the Mystery of the Murdered Dog. The Return of Nick Carter, a copyright feature of Street and Smith Publications Incorporated, is presented by the Mutual Broadcasting System from the studios of WOR in New York. The adventures of Nick's adopted son, Chick Carter, boy detective, are broadcast over most of these stations Monday through Friday at 5.15 p.m. Eastern War Time. Nick's own show is presented over most of these mutual stations every evening Monday through Friday at quarter past eight Eastern War Time. <laughs> This is Mutual.